ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग आई हर्ड टूडे इज द डे ऑफ बॉक्सिंग इज इट राइट the day after christmas they say it's boxing day i don't know the meaning but i used to see boxing in the ring i don't think brahmins would like to have that kind of boxing or is it going on all the time who is the who is the one opposing you in boxing hmm anyone especially the young ones the youth because youth youth always likes sports and especially the ones where there is action Do you like boxing? You like it? But be careful, don't injure yourself. Because in boxing, this is what I have seen, people start bleeding from the nose. Similar things happen. it's not the bleeding outside sometimes you get the news oh baba my heart bleeds today why there is a song in hindi i don't know whether you would appreciate it when the heart is broken into pieces there is a song my heart is broken in 100 pieces one fell here the other there so if that kind of condition is there how would you enjoy life heart broken soul what's the topic for the morning for the class do you know this what's the topic open your heart if it's already broken into pieces where is the need to open open your heart that means it's not yet opened those who still feel they have not opened their heart yet can you raise your hands just don't feel shy yes very good so there are a few sisters and brothers who still feel the need to open your heart
Now those who have opened their hearts and are enjoying hearty, loving company of your beloved, just raise your hands. Brother, give the mic to these sisters and brothers. They will cover the topic. <laughs> mic, they know. Oh, mic. या उधर रख दो एक एक करके आके सुनाए ना सो दो हु आर रियली एंजॉइंग द फ्रूट्स ऑफ ओपनिंग योर हार्ट प्लीज कम एंड शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस इन ब्रीफ हु हैज गॉट द करेज because whose heart is open will be very strong heart so let's see who has got the strong heart to, who is brave come share your your heart felt feelings om shanti how i should share there is nothing much to share when it's already broken it's already full with love the one i was searching for it's already there and he's giving comfort every day to his mudli and if i able to appreciate the mudli very well and enjoy the meditation it will continue to flow like how the indian celebrate pongal bas thank you anyone from among the sisters though it's a very very um private thing to share but then we are having such a topic which is being discussed in public but this is not public a topic of privacy being discussed amongst spiritual friends so friends can always discuss and share yes please om shanti when i met baba the second time uh, we could walk and get thrifty directly and i feel so much that baba was touching my heart so deep like i never felt before and this deep deep feeling is always with me and i always feel so the comfort that baba is around me and still even i got so deeply touched i feel i still can get deeper so maybe even to open the heart has to be done every day constantly because baba never stops giving love and i think it's so beautiful om shanti anyone else it's on om shanti i think um i just tell uh love is just not enough because i wanted someone who um understands everything and it is and knows who i am and at the same time give strength without any limitation so that's why i like god and it's like um you have no limit 
So you don't have to have... Well, that's it. Okay, Om Shanti. Thank you. The topic is not just for the youth. For elders also. So anyone from amongst brothers sitting on chairs, Om Shanti. I'm from London, UK. I left India many years ago. Uh, I left India when I was seven years old. And I grew up there. And in there, in India, I, in, in England, I thought I grew up there, become English, English Babu. So I never thought of coming to India. Two years ago, Daddy Gulza came to Oxford to a public program. My Yugul, she, she began two years before me. And now she took me to a public for, uh, show at Oxford, Oxford in England, where Daddy Gulza was giving a lecture. When I saw her, something happened. For the first week, I couldn't know what was happening. I was crying, emotional, everything. I told a friend, I didn't tell my wife anything, my Yugul. And I told my friend, I, what, what was happening? I was getting all these messages, not through here, but through there. Words or Hindi words. And I couldn't understand it. The first letter, the first letter word was letter. And that was in, in Hindi. And uh, since then, I've been getting few, few le le uh, words all the time. And after so many years in England, I thought India is so backwards, I, ne can, I can never can't go there. So last year, first time I came here to England to see Baba with my Yugo. After 27 years, this is my second visit and I'm, I'm proud to come here, Om Shanti. Anyone from sisters? not the youth group, big sisters. Anyone from among mothers, you raised your hands and no, you don't want to share. Om Shanti, I feel that Baba is healing the heart. Um, from a thousand pieces, the heart is becoming whole. And with his love, again, daily, momentary, um, the heart is being cleaned. The heart is becoming light. Om Shanti. Thank you. Any sister, Indian sister, who can sing the song the lake mandir hai. Anyone? No one. There is a song in Hindi. Now this is the opposite of what I said in the beginning. What sister has just shared. It's a beautiful romantic song but uh, very close to spirituality. The lake mandir hai The lake mandir hai Pyaar ki jisme hoti hai puja Ye pritam ka ghar hai Dilek Mandir Hope you get the feeling 
the heart is like a temple where the beloved is worshipped. So this is the other side, how we can relate. And when such a relationship is there, I don't think the heart would be broken into pieces. And in the previous Murli, those who have read it, who have heard it, or many other Murlis, Baba assured all of us, whether we are able to feel or not, but Baba assured us about the continuity of Baba's subtle care, company, love, and affection. Sometimes we block, we shut the door, we won't let his love flow to us. So when we think of opening our heart, what is the first thing required? You can open your heart only uh, even in logic life, only when you trust someone. Without trust, no one opens one's heart. So the first requirement, what I feel is, complete, Trust. In other words, we always say faith. Faith is there. Ninety-nine point nine 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 percent people in the world have faith in God, but they don't have trust that God can take care of their feelings. God can bestow so much love. Only prayers. At this time of the cycle, it's such a wonderful thing to happen. Those who have read Gita, they would know. In the beginning itself, there is praise of our relationship with God. And in that praise, It's in poetry, but I'll just share with you the meaning. All relations with you, thou art our mother and father supreme, thou art our friend and guide supreme, like that. You are everything. Once we have recognition I'm sure no one amongst us is here without that recognition. If we had not recognized, we won't be here. Why have we all come here? What has brought us here? Is it only the youth retreat? Is it only the Christmas celebration? Is it only the presentation of a cultural program? No. We are all here for a specific purpose. 
and the purpose is limitless on one side we are all here to meet baba and who is baba he is the one about whom i just shared with you what is said in the beginning of gita with whom we all have every kind of relationship except one he says i don't become dharmaraj he doesn't become the judge always loving mother this is something very beautiful i wonder sometimes even in sanskrit the language god is praised first as a mother then as father tameev matas ch pita tameev so mother father teacher receptor friend and everything now do we feel we are able to experience these relations amongst all those relations baba emphasizes on the relationship of father teacher and satguru all the three in one from time to time we all experience how we really need to have this kind of relationship with baba especially after the recognition and after having the inspiration to lead spiritual lives the most courageous people in the world are here shiv shakti pandav sena the words are in hindi the army of shiv shaktis the sisters and the pandavas they are considered to be the most most powerful ones brave ones and what is the bravery about it's not archery it's not gun shooting it's not fighting with the sword it's not with the arrows and bow the bravery lies in challenging our own weaknesses as you heard in the murli this morning declaring yourself to be that brave whatever be the form of maya it can never shake my faith it can never mislead me but the other side is we are an army 
and an army means who fights. The fighting is on a very subtle level. Even in the world, the weapons are refined more and more on subtle level. More deception, more ways of attacking in such a way they can deceive the enemy. Similarly, Baba's children, on the basis of deep faith and on the basis of unquestionable love from both sides, from your side and from Baba's side, being so close being guided by the Supreme Himself, the courage and the confidence which we develop by and by. It doesn't come all of a sudden. We start on the path and it's always there. In the beginning, it, it seems very, very easy, very light. It's after a while, sometimes after six months, sometimes after a year, sometimes after two years, sometimes even after five years. What happens? The effort making in the right way becomes clouded sometimes. Sometimes we become overconfident. Sometimes Maya has its own very beautiful, subtle ways. Oh, it's the same Murli again and again. We have understood once for all what else to do. Third, we are master creators. Let me churn my own way of learning and giving. What happens? If you don't eat proper food at the right time and you run and run and run, what happens? You would fall exhausted. This is what is happening sometimes. Secondly, there used to be a question, what is the percentage of your faith? Faith that he himself is now teaching us is the Supreme Teacher, Supreme Father, Supreme Teacher and Supreme Satguru. He Himself is teaching you. If you had that faith, what would happen? you would have unquestionable love for his teachings. Even if the questions are asked, they are asked for learning, understanding in depth. Questions are welcome, 
Baba never says you don't ask questions. But sometimes you would hear Baba praising the simple ones. Who love Baba from the heart. Who have faith. Unquestionable faith. And who dare to follow Baba's Shirimat who understand that there lies the supreme benefit in following that Srimad and follow it in total, in complete, complete original form. But as I said, to become an experienced Raj Yogi, experienced Brahma Kumar or Brahma Kumari, it takes time. Faltering, no problem. There was once a question in my mind. And I asked Mama what to do about it. And Mama was very clear. She said, to make a mistake once is pardonable. No problem. But learn from that mistake. Don't repeat it. Because when we make mistakes, what happens? When you don't make mistakes, what happens? And when you make mistakes, what happens? Just compare the two. When we don't make mistakes, Thank you. When we don't make mistakes, the mind is free from any confusion, any sort of confusion, light, and the heart is happy. The face is cheerful, the eyes are glowing, the vibrations are pure. And the other side, before we make a mistake, what happens? Tension, stress, due to some old habit, we make mistake. then repentance, then worrying about it because then we start thinking about Baba's Shirimat. Baba said, I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't repeat it and still I'm doing it. So slowly and slowly the soul becomes more weak, the self-confidence goes and then more questions in mind because the vision is blurred. Is it really God's knowledge? Is it really God himself teaching us? Such questions start arising. So simple faith is the answer. Once you have simple faith, you accept. And when you accept, what Baba says, when you come one step forward, how many steps Baba comes? Hmm? How many? One hundred? One thousand or millions. When you start counting with the steps, 
Radhar Baba says, you just remain conscious, I am always there with you. It's just switching on and switching off. Switching off. Sometimes we wonder, many souls, they think they are very intellectual people. How can it be so simple? Baba says, just say, hello Baba, and you will be with Baba. How can that be? Baba is so far, far away. But have you ever churned about the speed of your thought? Your thought travels at such a high speed What travels at the maximum speed we know? We used to hear the light 180,000 miles per second but the thought travels much, much faster than that. And all the confusion which gets created suddenly is only because of the thought process. If we had taken care of the thought process things would have been very good all the time due to circumstances, due to previous upbringing, due to wrong conception sometimes. The thought process becomes negative. Now this is where empowering of the thought is needed. When I want to experience Baba all the time, Baba says, he doesn't sit, sit like this, take the rosary in your hand, take the murli in your hand. Okay, for preparation you may do that. But what is the process? Within a moment you are with Baba. He says, just say hello Baba and you are there. You don't have to pick up the telephone, not even the mobile from your pocket. But just the thought, it's so subtle. But because it is so subtle, Maya is also very subtle. So what practice or what effort is needed to experience Baba's love all the time? First, understanding. Understanding of the fact that I am here I am with Baba, I am in the company of Baba's great family. That understanding is needed. Secondly, Baba is not an ordinary person.
Baba is the source of all happiness. Baba is the source of peace. Baba is the source of love. If I belong to the source, everything belongs to me. I have just to feel it. And feeling would come by just remaining close to the source. By accepting through simple faith and by appreciation. This is another aspect of being together and for opening your heart. Let's not create difficulties for our own selves. It's very easy, very light process, very simple. There are many stories you might have heard before. There are more than 50% sisters and brothers here for the first time. You have your own stories. I'm sure your own story is the most unique one, most beautiful one. How you have come to Baba. When we hear each other's stories, we get so much fascinated by these stories. We hear the stories of the scriptures. A yogi meditating for 10,000 years, not able to realize God. Another one, 5,000 years, not able to realize. And then the third one, who had spent hardly 10 years, he becomes so intoxicated on hearing the news that he would meet God in just another 1,000 years. Dances in, in that joy and happiness and that makes him so light, he flies and he meets God then and there. So what is needed to be close to Baba is the feeling of being light. If you keep on thinking about your past, and we all know it wasn't that good all the time, you would feel so heavy. It would bind you down. It won't let you fly. It won't let you go beyond. That's why Baba said the, in the previous Murli, don't worry about anything till today, start now. Baba makes us feel so light. Why can't we accept it as a gift from God? Just feel, Baba, whatever I am, the way I am, I am yours. Is it difficult to feel that? You just say this in your heart now and see how light you become. Such a beautiful feeling of being so light, being so close, being so affectionate. then your heart becomes God's temple. Or you merge in God's heart. Either way, 
feel that closeness and prepare your own songs sing your own songs don't worry about what the beatles sang or what the others sing sing your own songs baba sings only one song he says my baba my baba well, can't we sing something else you would say well that is the best why sing anything else but it's not just the words feel it appreciate it enrich yourself with that then you will find from your own experience baba is the most beautiful one baba is the most truthful one and baba is the most protecting mother we always love someone who protects us we would open our heart only to the one who would protect us supposing i shared some of my weaknesses with someone and he or she goes and talks about it to others oh what is this nirvair bhai in gyan for such a long time he has so many weaknesses what would happen is is that helpful to me in any way is that helpful to you anyone else in any way no baba is the most confidential friend you speak to baba wherever you like speak in your heart go to baba's room speak there even then you will speak from your heart go to dadi speak to her but again it comes that you have to open your heart you have to bring out everything if there is something smelling you keep on painting it from above will that smell go no so open it let it be completely renewed when you come to india you have to have indian currency you go to the exchange money exchanger you get it changed is that right Similarly the most precious thing with us is our heart most precious but if that heart is not pure heart is not clean how can that be offered to god in a temple what is being offered flowers fruits so let's churn let's use our own churning power and then come to the point come to the understanding the benefit lies in giving it to baba sharing with baba whatever is there and then also listening to baba 
It's not one-way traffic. Traffic control now. Om Shanti, Dadiji will be coming very soon, so I won't take much of your time. But to continue with what we were discussing, just to share with you, the mo from the moment we accept our relationship with the Supreme, whom we lovingly call Baba. It's easy to communicate with Baba. And Baba also communicates with us on all levels, subtle, through Murli, and through the instruments also. And we need to keep an aim that one day we too have to become instruments. We are Baba's instruments. This is what I learned right from the beginning. This is the only place where a few things are unique. They are totally different from the other places where they follow the path of bhakti. In the path of bhakti, you can't take the seat of the guru. And Baba says, Practically, Baba's children, they need to be close to Baba's heart. They need to be at par with Baba. Who else would be there? The only thing is, when we are offered, Baba offers us his seat, we start looking at ourselves. We start thinking about our worthiness of being there. And Baba says, sweet children, you would be my worthy children. Just have light-hearted feeling of being together with Baba. Don't become too intelligent about your relationship with Baba. Just accept. Is it difficult to accept? Is it difficult I'm asking this question? Is it difficult to accept your relationship with Baba? Anyone who has the difficulty, just raise your hand. Yes? What's the difficulty? I didn't get you. Over, overwhelming, that's good. Now this is, there is another thing which I would like to share with you. What happens 
Baba is the same. Baba's attitude towards children is the same. Same loving. Like the mother and the child. Even if the child plays in the dust and comes, how does mother react? Uh, takes the child in her arms, kisses the child and starts dusting. Where have you been? What were you doing there? She doesn't scold the child. Can't we accept this relationship with Baba? This is what Baba wants us to do. He says, sweet children, whatever you are, you are my children. But we become more intelligent than Baba. He accepts us and we reject ourselves. What is this? Who suffers then? But then Baba also stresses the need for proper understanding. The understanding about the time. The value of time. We can keep postponing, becoming better and better for years, but who is losing? The one who postpones has to suffer then because of repentance. So why not to accept Baba's advice to become his worthy children? What would you give in return for his love to become his worthy children? Accept and be determined. This is where the need of Baba's relationship with us. But he is all-powerful one. I belong to the all-powerful one. That would bring the determination in us. And once we have that determination, we become firm in our resolve not to lose my heart to anyone else, not to get it broken into pieces. Let it remain open to the one who is the protector of my heart. I have experienced literally when the bypass surgery was to take place, Baba gave the message. <laughs> it's a very personal thing I'm sharing with you. On a very mundane level, physical level. Baba said, Baba would call the child to subtle regions and the doctors would work on the physical level. It was bypass surgery in 1989. A big thing to happen at that time, even today. But Baba made me so light with the power of his love. On physical level, practically, Dadiji came there 
and made me so light. Just one minute. And then I just accepted what Baba said. Requested my doctors to observe one minute silence, remember God, before doing the surgery. And they gave me a promise, yes, they would. And after that, when I got the anesthesia injection, I was to count one, two, three, four. I remember I went up to seven and then I don't know what happened. But all that I remember is that I had gone up to the subtle regions and I was lying on a beautiful bed of roses. The surgeon, his assistants, they worked for more than five hours doing their job. And I didn't feel anything, no pain, nothing, even later on. So on all levels, Baba protects us on subtle level and even on physical. If any one of Baba's children becomes little sick, everyone is concerned about it. So accept the reality and accept it in depth that God himself is now here as our father, as our teacher, as our preceptor, as our friend, everything. All that we have to do is to be light, Light in our relationship with Baba. Light in sharing whatever goes on in my mind. I can speak to Baba. He has given his hotline number to me all the time. He says, just dial zero, zero. How long does it take? And after all that Baba has promised to us, still if we remain closed in our mind, if we remain, I mean, keep our hearts closed, how can His love flow to our heart? How can His power be received? And how can the change take place otherwise? The transformation will take place when we accept fully by opening our hearts. And just see how it works. I request, I suggest, just from now on, take a decision in your life. One Baba, none else. Om Shanti.